going to take you along on, well, I guess today and tomorrow, on our science. Um, I'm just cutting up an apple for my kids right now and some peanut butter. Um, but I just wanted to tell you guys real quick before I get into the lessons um, what we use and when we use it. Um, so we're using Noeo Physics 1. We are on, I think, like lesson 25 or week 25. And um, we use it Monday and Tuesday every week. And then Wednesday, Thursday is when we do our social studies. Um, so I think that's the only really like precursor you guys need. So I'm going to get in and just show you guys our week, which will be Monday and Tuesday. Today's Monday. I'm going to show you um, like the book that we read as well as the experiment that we do. And don't forget to subscribe and you guys can see many more videos like this. Thanks. Okay, so you can go ahead and do your handwriting while I read Max Axiom and then we'll do a fun experiment after. Okay, so we ended on magnets in space this time, you remember? On a daily basis, we don't usually notice Earth's magnetic sphere making it lopsided. Sometimes the sun shoots off billions of particles in an explosion called a solar flare. Have you heard of a solar flare? Mm -hmm. Remember you guys were talking about learning about space. It's perfect, huh? The particles flood Earth's magnetosphere. They bounce back and forth between the north and south magnetic poles in an area. Okay, this is about our um, lesson today. Come on, my old scout leader, Jake, can tell us more about compasses. They have magnets to the earth. Yeah. Maxwell Axiom, what brings you all the way out here? I'd like to take a look at how your compass works, Jake. No problem. You're always good with compasses, Maxwell. Like most compasses, yours have a needle that spins on a pivot. That's right. The needle is a small bar magnet. Have we used bar magnets? Yeah. Mm -hmm. As it spins, it point, its points are drawn toward Earth's magnetic poles. Do you guys remember what direction the magnetic poles are? Um, lopsided. What direction are they? Um, north and south. You got it. The red end always points north and the gray end always points south. Correct. And once we know the direction of north and south, we can figure out the direction of east and west. Sounds like a compass is a great tool to have on a hike. Thanks, Jake. Anytime, Maxwell. Finding east. This one. Finding north and south on a compass is easy, but what about east or west? Finding these directions is easier than you think. We know how to do that though, right? What's the rhyme you guys know? Um, never eat soggy meat. There we go. Yeah, we don't even need to know that way. Okay. Okay, so we are going to make a compass. This isn't gonna be a compass you can carry with you, but we're gonna see how it works. Okay, so let's see, materials, plastic containers, Check. Bar magnets, tape, bowl, and some water. And I already taped these in so that they're right in the middle so they don't like um, fall over in the water. Okay, so. Oh, can I make it mine? You want to do it too? Totally. Okay. So. You want to put one in? And it says you're going to set it in gently I and then you're going to lightly spin it. I'm going to put the one in. Okay, after Theo. Okay, lightly spin, and then we're gonna wait and see when it stops pin spinning, what direction it's facing. I have a feeling that's north. North. It's it's the north. Mom, Where does the center? At the mine. What? Here. In the east. Yep. Mom, so mine is mine correct. Okay. Uh, is it okay for him to put the other one in, or do you want to? Um, no, me! 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 me, 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 me. Okay. okay, can you put it in the water really softly? <gasps> Good job. Okay, look at this, guys. See how they're lined up with each other? Mm -hmm. But are they still facing the correct way? Yes. Oh, man. Okay, now, Cooper, can you put them both in? Sure. I think they and are then both give them both yeah, a spin. Okay, so go ahead and put the second one in. Um, it's facing that way. Yep. No, that's go ahead right. and put the second one in. Thanks. Okay, let's see. Oh, you see they're slowly going together? Ding! And they're both facing, you can see the N on both the sides, so the N is still both facing towards north. 
even though they're connected. What was that? Is that northeast? Well, that's north. Oh yeah, this way, right here? Yeah, yeah, northeast, good job. Okay, so this says, what we learned, the bar magnets in the plastic containers work like a compass. When the magnet stops moving, the N is always pointing north. The North Pole has a strong, you wanna put one in again, Rob? Yeah. Okay. The North Pole has a nice, a strong magnetic field that attracts the needle of the compass or the N on a magnet to point that direction. When two magnets are in the water, the North and South Poles attract, but notice that both magnets are facing North as they're joined together. Very cool. That's just so cool because they just slowly come together. I know, I like that part too, when they slowly go to magnetize with each other. Okay. Do you guys know what the needle of a compass is made of? Um, bar magnet. Good job, that's right. Bar magnet! Okay, which direction to the red, do the, yeah. North. <laughs> the, north. Re the red and gray ends point. Oh, red south. And south. Red, let's let Cooper answer, he really wants to. What direction does the red face? North. Uh-huh, and what direction? South. Yeah, good job. <laughs> well, that was fun. South. Huh? South, yeah. Put that last. Ah. You know anything? Oh, thanks. Okay, while well, you guys are doing that. Electromagnetism. <laughs> the compass needles, bar magnets, and refrigerator magnets we've seen all have something Mom. in common. They're all permanent magnets. Their magnetic power never stops working. But not all magnets have their power all of the time. Electromagnets get their power from electricity, and their magnetism is temporary. Do you know what temporary means? Um, it's the opposite of permanent. I do, Mom. I so do. it can end. I do. It's not yeah. Mm -hmm. Electromagnets sound complicated, but they're really quite simple. When electricity flows through a wire, it creates a magnetic field. Are you looking to see them? I know you're doing handwriting, but this is what we're gonna make. <laughs> well, we're gonna try. In a straight wire, that, that magnetic field is weak. But if the wire is coiled around an iron bar, such as a nail, mm -hmm. the field becomes much stronger. Electromagnets, like the one on this crane, are very useful because they can be turned on and off. Pick Ooh. up a car. Powered up, the magnet can lift a car off the ground with ease. Then, with the flip of a switch, it can release the car from its grip. Crash. I see. Oh, yeah. Then I see. Yeah. Okay, yeah. guys, so we have all the stuff that we need for this. Mm -hmm. And it has a picture to show us how to set it up. Okay, so. Happy birthday, guys! Happy birthday, Do you know what this part is in the picture? Happy birthday, um, guys! Happy birthday, mama! Yeah, the battery, yeah. Okay. So, we want to read the instructions and see if we can figure out how to do it. Okay. You'll need an adult towel. Happy birthday, towel. guys! Right, Thank you. Having an adult to the end of the copper wire. One so that was the part that I couldn't really do. I didn't have a sharp enough knife. So Dad does. I know, Dad does. I meant to ask him last night to strip it for us, but I just kept cutting it every time like that. So we'll have to try it. If we can't do it, then we'll do it with Dad tonight. But okay. Place the middle of the nail in the middle of the wire. Wow. You think you can do that? Yep. Let me unwind it for you. Okay. Okay. And then, and wrap the wire around the nail in each direction. I'll get it started for you. Oh, like a child. It, it says 25 times. Yeah, see how I'm wrapping it? Okay, can you continue that with both, both sides? Take one end of the wire to the positive side of the battery and the other side to the negative. Hold on, it says careful, be sure not to hold the ends of the wire or the battery with your bare finger. Oh. Battery will make them hot. Okay, maybe I'll do this part? Yeah. Okay. 
I don't want to get my hands burnt. I'm not confident it's going to work though because it's still copper. <laughs> Could work. Oh yeah, so first, um, let me get paper clips. Okay, so we can see currently that it's not magnetic, right? Mm -hmm. It's not picking up the paper clips. Uh-huh. Okay. So, why did you touch the upper part? Okay, now let me put that other side on. Eat your cake. Eat your cake, she said. Oh, I just don't stop cake right there. Yay, we did it. Look at that. Whoa. Time to try. Yeah, just a sec. Wow. Wow. We made a magnet. Oh, it is quite hot. Okay. All right, yeah, I just don't want you to get hurt. <laughs> yeah. So you can hold the battery like this. You want to try it, Theo? Mm -hmm. Is that okay? Actually, you got to do the the compass first, sister. So let's let Cooper do this first. You got it? That's okay. So it's strong. I bet if I had more copper off of it, it would be even stronger. Wow. We made an electromagnet. I'm proud of us. <laughs> yeah, Thea, you could try now. Okay, what we learned. Here, let's put it closer to him. Okay, there you go. Okay, electromagnetism is a fancy word, but it's easy to break down. It is the word electric and the word magnetism combined together. Electromagnet. Electric magnet. A electric magnet. Kind of, yeah. It describes a magnet that only exists when you have an energy source. You made your nail into an electric magnet and picked up some paper clips with it. Put the ends of the wire on the ends of the battery. Um, it lets it pick up. It's okay. What do you say? It lets it pick up the paper clips. Yeah. What does it turn it into? Um, an electromagnet. Yes. Um, let's see. What happened to the wire when you had it attached to the battery for a while? Hmm. Like Did you touch them? Yeah. I don't know if you it want got to. Hot. Yeah. The wire is harder to tell, but the battery definitely will help. Um, because energy is friction, right? Mm -hmm. What is an electromagnet? An electro, um, something, an, a magnet that is power, that is powered by electricity. Very good. Awesome, guys. Hooray! 